Welcome back to an episode of We have the perfect angle for the camera and there are a few missions we can do in uh, Uterra Castle because that thing is um, a bit more abundant it seems and there's also that's strange there's a portal statue and there's a tripod what's a portal statue actually good for that's strange <laughs> that's cheating come on at least inside a city area. Why? 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 Why have teleportation costs? That's so cheap. All right, back on the horse. Let's talk to the receptionist and see what we can do. Welcome, King's Knight. Mm hmm. Now it's fortunate I'm not too late. I'm honored to deliver happy news. King the Rain has given a stronghold to you. There will be a domain ceremony soon at the place. Place palace. Mm. That might be where the name place actually comes from. Strange. Lords from all over the place uh, have gathered at Lutera Castle to watch the ceremony. This was unthinkable during Sherrod's rule. Then please follow me. The king May is waiting. Oh, there's a strange chain that's attached to us. My favorite knight. In recognition of protecting the mortal world and bringing honor to Lutera, I, King Thyrain of Lutera, hereby grant you a stronghold. couldn't be prouder to call you my friend. I hope this stronghold proves a worthy reward for your efforts. All right. I'm just waiting for some introductory dialogue boxes to come up. Right. So, little May cutscene. May your stronghold be filled hmm. with the grace of Regulus. What about all of the other gods? Please accept this sheet music. It is the song of half and hope. And what does it do? Hmm, this is, uh, that's correct. The bard at Sunbright Hill wrote it for you. You can sing the song of half and home wherever you are, and you'll be taken to your stronghold. Nice. And how do I get back from the stronghold? Mm, song of half and home. There we go. There's a five second cooldown. Moves you to your stronghold. Let's check that out. Do I have to teleport from there outside? Because it could be that you can get uh, stuck in there. In the stronghold dispatch station, you can send teams out to various things and whatnot. Right. Ah, so the Miserity, zero interest, <laughs> guests, zero out of 50, what is that? You can check user info of those who visit your stronghold. Mm -hmm. Interesting, uh, it's awesome, it's flashy, it's fun. Uh -huh. How would you make it fun? Let's talk to Welcome, Adelaide. Welcome, adventurer. Hello, Adelaide. And under King Therain's orders, I am to serve you as a butler, my lord. My name is Alan. It is truly an honor to serve the King's Knight. Everyone here has been awaiting you, my lord. Oh, is that? And I'm awaited by only one person. That is strange. So, and what are those going to do me now? Uh, Jennif. At your service. Mm-hmm. It's an honor to serve the king's knight. And what about stonemason Ripto? Ripto? Ripito? Welcome, my lord. Hmm. Oh, there's also the mail carrier and Goldbeard. Goldbeard. Hmm. Welcome. What kind of creature are you? Hmm. Brr. My friend, uh, you're just the person we have been looking for. The humans of this place, brr, everyone is as pure as the word of a strain. It's very nice. The other friends are also just as good. Today, brr, 
is a very good day. A friend called Felix uh, has um, brr, prepared something for you, my lord. Brr. <laughs> so what's this brr all about? It's probably not brr, it's more like bark being moved about or something. So it's more like a crackling kind of brr. Special exchange. Raid seals, again. So either it's a siege or raid, meaning that, oh no. Is that a situation where we can get attacked? Probably. Ferry of Romans. Another Ferry of Romans. Does this thing go around? Oh no. That could take ages. So this one goes down over here, and that one goes up over here. Let's hope there are multiples. So you're not stuck on the uh, wild somewhere. Right. So there are different houses in My here. Lord. Oh, a double... Wait. Am I on Lilliput now? Oh, there's a heart shape. Well, our new, our lord, new lord has arrived. I'm glad to see you. Dear me. All right, and this one is management stuff. So we have mounds. We got sheet music. View far. Ooh, nice. Like, why not have this as an option in the game altogether? Look at that. That's a normal thing, which kind of feels very close to the grind still. But this one here, that's pretty neat. Want to have that view all the time. So, what do we got on the wardrobe? We got the basic outfit and the irresistible hair. Um, this is not us. Oh! It's not our outfit. It's someone else's outfit. I would say that this one is much better looking. Okay, then we got Black Fang, of course. So you have a... Huh. It always comes in two forms. Like, you're actually free. So you have your standard outfit, and... Except for that one. That's the most normal looking. And a Xena, short, and there's Aiden. Like, look at how overloaded they are, like, all of this, and then this. Like, how much more can you pack onto her before she falls down? Hmm, that's nice. But she looks kind of like a zebra. Like, this one is... Better, but I want to get rid of the cape. Like this outfit here, but with this color pattern. That would be neat. Hmm. Oh, that one even moves. That's neat. Wait a minute. This is the angel girl, isn't it? <laughs> of course. Okay. The red stuff actually has the nicest contrast. So, what else we have? Like Nivea. And, wait a minute, Nerea, Pride Hall, Nerea, Lutera Castle? Wait a minute. So does Nerea change, or does Nerea come in different forms, like a Catherine? So there's this, it's more like a title. I think it's more like a title. The cool-headed secretary, Nerea, or Wave Stand Port. Wait. There's Bastion, yeah. Of course, yes, you have a standard Bastion and the more edgy kind of parody Bastion. And then another Nerea. <laughs> that kind of looks as if this whole arm should not be a damage machine, but rather some kind of drink dispenser. I think I could go for a certain theme on the characters here. So, alright, let's just uh, look at a few more of those because otherwise it takes very long until we hit every single character. And all of those just seem to have um, basic outfits. Yeah, there's only a few exceptions. The Tomboy Scientist. What on earth is this title? <laughs> Uh. Wait. Ah, uh, again. So those dwarves do like a little bit of a party. And they get stranger by the second. Nobleman again. Interesting. Totos. Westerners. And I said that I didn't want to do it. That's Gobius. Interesting. 
Good lead to that. Nothing there. The Miss Goblin. Uh, those poor fellows have always problems with that back. Now I'm clicking through here. Almost. Yeah, I'm almost through with all of this. What are these creatures? And there's Gideon. Annabelle. This paler fella. That one looks neat. Like, that's almost the same color. There's yellow in the green and there's yellow in the armor. But this one here is much nicer. It's more like an accent kind of color, the green. It's pretty neat. And again, uh, the dwarves have a common theme. Oh, and we can also have, like, dragons on here, too. Pretty neat. Ah, and your typical report characters, too. And some standard doodorinos. So, what about that? Huh. I would almost go with the basic outfit. That looks neat. So, let's see. And we are done. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, where do I get Nabi? Um, a stray cat and Phaeton. No one knows how it ended up in the area. Uh, placement point one. Phaeton. I definitely need this one. Um, the obtained effect can be da 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 da. Nabi become the mascot of Kalaya and was appointed. Definitely. <laughs> like this kind of messenger post office cat thing with the hat. Just, just, just so great. Ready. Uh, let's continue with that though before we take too long. Uh, Double Felix. Did you prepare all of this for of me? Of course! It's our lord! Mm-hmm. Give our lands a name, lord! Oh, goodness gracious. Um, isn't having a stronghold without a name something the Kokomos... Kokomos would do? What are Kokomos? I should take a look around the stronghold. Uh, perform of two is some of half and home to enter the stronghold again. Mm. Oh, um, uh, you've given it a beautiful... Wait, what? Name. I didn't do anything. Uh oh. Uh, so like this at the top left of the screen, my name of the stronghold to proceed. Can I change the stronghold? I hope so. Stronghold name can be changed. Um, we can set the permissions of visiting guests. All enter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Uh, friend requests. Allied stronghold. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there's no movement or adjustment settings here. So, can change once for free. Okay. Um. <sighs> once for free. So, how do we call this? Um. I could call this. Tuga. But this is more like a pirate island. Let me just have a little look at that. Maybe I can come up with a nice name. Um, uh, so, nope. Mm. So, Kirika Kure, uh, no. Okay, let's just do it the same way I usually do. Uh, let's just hammer in names that sound cool. Great. So, what kind of letters do we want? Um, something that looks awe-inspiring. So we're going with an A. Uh, we don't go with L's or any kind of um, watery sounding letters. We're going for like a T, maybe an M. Um... Maybe an O or something like that. Uh, an N can also be used for there. 
Uh, maybe a K. There is a... Uh, we got a G already. So what else do we have? There's a... Uh, um, maybe a C. No, but C and K kind of cancel each other out. So that's weird. Um... In this case, either I go with C or Atomok. Hmm, why not? Uh, there's also Tamok. Uh, there's also... Oh... Yeah, why not just go with the Palindrome? That would be neat. Oh, cut. Wait a minute. Okay. Huh. The M needs to be placed somewhere in here. Ka Tom. Uh, Mat and then there's Tom. Mato ka Tom. Ma Toko Tom. There we go. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> the name doesn't make any sense. Uh, but you can read it upside down, left to right and whatnot. Uh, can you also have like... Yeah, you can also do something like this with two uh, upwards letters in here. That's pretty weird. But no. Um, but what about if we uh, start with an A? Or what if we go with a C at the end? Or like something like this. Kato. Uh, uh, C and O look too close together, so that's not good. Um, so we go with Kato. Kato. Mo. Tak. Nah, no. We can't end with Tak. Tak sounds weird. Hmm. Atamoa. We go with Atamoa. Um. Atamoa. Ah, there we go. Did everyone hear that? What? The name of our stronghold is Atamor. We are uh, now residents of Atamor. Don't know what that is. Actually, I should have. Let's welcome our for lord that. together. One, two, two three. Wait a minute. Wow! So cool! <laughs> I'm glad to see you! If they are all Mokoko people, where's the Mokoko Island? Shouldn't that be somewhere in here? Hmm. Huh. Anyway, uh, Atamoa. What's Atamoa? Atamoa. Uh. Don't know what Atamora is, but you can definitely find some people using that name already <laughs> for some online shops or whatnot. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, uh, that was stupid. Maybe I should have just used some URL. That would have been much better. Damn it! Uh, Cook Islands renewable energy shot. Wait a minute. So Atamora is. Whatever. Kinda sounds okay. So, whatever. We keep Atta more. And what else do we do? Uh praise by clapping. Let's applaud like that.
My lord, how was our song? Decent. It was, um... Yeah, decent. <laughs> we practiced night and day for the three days. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, I'm still extremely pleased that you have finally arrived. So, Adeline, what is it that you want Adventurer? Wanted? Hmm. You seem like you are enjoying yourself, am I? I've decided on the stronghold's name. Hmm. Atamora. Atamora. It is indeed a name fitting the dignity of the uh, king's knight. <laughs> I could have just used something something else, like um, some mean window. It would have been nice. I will share this with the residents at once. In the meantime, my lord, how about paying a visit around the island now that you have given it a name? You will be able to see the entire domain if you head up the lighthouse. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's climb up the lighthouse. First thing to do, get ourselves an elevator. Now, oh, let's have a look around. Okay, vast emptiness. Need to build stuff. Definitely looks out of more. Also, the, the rooftop looks like as if they placed solar cells already. <laughs> So strange. I've prepared a few things here that I hope will make your duties easier to perform. Hmm. First, please take a look at your action energy. Another energy bar. You can get a sense of the stronghold's condition through the action energy. And what is this? The action energy is a resource that is used for each of the stronghold's activities, and it is shown at the bottom center of the screen. Let's take a look at that. Right. A resource consumed when researching, crafting, dispatching in your stronghold, as well as when using chef's kitchen. It's naturally restored with time. 15,000, so it's a bit more. Action energy regen, 100, but I do not know how quickly it gets regenerated. There needs to be a per second, per minute, per hour, per day kind of thing. Right. Um, what's this? Check a fire for strongholds activity reports. Mm hmm. It is available for you to check at any time, my lord. Very neat. Now, thank you. Now, uh, I will do my best to please you, my lord. Now, would you like to try using action energy to manage the stronghold? Of course. First, allow me to take you to the uh, tab. You can head there by taking the boat at the lab, not the tab. The climate is mild, and the resources are abundant in these lands. With enough interest, this can become the best part of Lutera. Interest. What are we? A bank? Uh, go to the islands with the lab on it. All right. Oh, it's actually very close together. Very neat. So, who's this fella? Researcher. Nothing available yet, though. Could you see that? Could I see what? This is the lab. The Our smarter and curious Pookie is always inside here. In maintenance mode, you can click on the lab to speak with Pookie and begin researching. To enter you managing mode. You can make mode. all kinds of decisions in maintenance mode. Hmm. Alrighty, maintenance mode is the first of the options. So now we are in maintenance mode. W, A, S, and D move the camera around. Very nice. And what else do we do? We have a lab, we've got a uh, workshop, station, manor, and other stuff. And a graphical glitch down here for some reason. So control one selects the lab at the top. Da -da -da -da. Finish research how to purchase new crafting tools. Right. So you click on the symbol in order to get into the lab, or you can just click on the lab button up there makes stuff go then there is iron ore and timber which i have gathered already of course there's additional research cost and the action energy that's used up 288 for some reason crafting slot plus one purchase a new crafting tool mm. what do they mean by that well yeah let's just wait and see what happens my guess is that you can have two versions of one crafting tool that you can use. But uh, that's kind of weird though. Complete the research. Crafting slot plus one. This uh, new all around crafting tool is designed for people who want to craft many things at the same time. Oh! 
Alright, uh, where do I go next? After finishing maintenance mode, talk to Alan. Sure. And there's also workshops. Uh, we can make some HP potions. Aha. Uh -huh. With the leaves and so on. Hmm. Now comes the interesting fact. Like the crafting cost for how many potions? Times three. So three potions cost you 1,200 silver coins. Or what's this? I don't know. Silver, probably. And uh, that means 400 per potion. That's the base amount. It's an HP potion. So I have to compare this to the other potions that you can buy. Some of them may be better, some of them may be worse. And then I also need to check on how well they can be sold in the auction house. Just to know more about that. Livestock protection. What about that? Livestock protection. Seals. Token containing fruit. Da, 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 da. Time left. This. Less than one minute. Mm, I need to put a crew on that though. But we're going to get info on that at a later point. What was the thing that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, the placement. How does that work? Uh, there's... Okay, I can... Heh! <laughs> Neat. Wait. Uh, will you save the current placement? Yes. I can place myself. Heh! <laughs> That's great. Um... It's kind of weird. I actually thought this was some kind of a teleportation that you can do. Some wannabe teleportation, nothing in the roster. Connecting, uh, that makes no sense. So how do we get rid of one of those? I can move it with space, I can retrieve it with delete. Bam. All right, apply. That's just weird. Okay, so W, A, S, and D. Uh, we'll move screen with them um, holding down the middle mouse button, but it's definitely not as good. So select and place with left, cancel, selection with that. There's a Q&A with the rotation, but it's not a camera rotation though. Ah, sadly. Um, slight rotate, tab. What? Okay, don't know what that is. Hmm. Okay, we can place 25 characters there. So what was the other thing that I wanted to test out? Yeah, the uh, L. L was the crafting tools, but this has nothing to do with this, didn't it? No. So let's talk to Alan. Maybe uh, available when uh, level three is available there. Right? What? Is that? Uh, hmm. that needed your attention anyway. Thank you for taking care of it so quickly. You are welcome. Now, thanks to your approval for research, crafting slots have increased, and the crafting room can now receive more orders. Trying out crafting yourself is also a good idea. You will grasp it immediately once you try it yourself, sure. And uh, what can you tell me about that? The diligent, intelligent Dorothy is in charge of the crafting workshop. And in that workshop, you can make battle items, food, and other items necessary for your adventure. And also various facilities to beautifully decorate your stronghold. You can speak directly to Dorothy, but the maintenance mode will be more convenient. If you move the mouse while pressing down the mouse wheel, yeah, you can move the camera. But we don't want that. Um, probably AS and D has the same effect, and I will give you some time for you to get familiar with it. And how about trying to make a healing potion? Yes. So, crafting. No, it was uh, the maintenance mode. Is it... Wait a minute. Is it... Yeah, it's control and one, and not C and one, which is kind of strange. Because you could also try to press C, but this is not the thing that you want to press here. Anyway, workshop. Um... Craft battle item HP potions and one. Yes. So, we'll take a little bit of time, and once it's done, we. There we go. Now it's done. Oh, I think I also need to take it out of there. Wait a minute. Um, maintenance mode, workshop, and clay. We have a guest, there we go. my lord. Cals, the Lord of Wavestrand, promised us some sailors. So, leave the lab and head to the dispatch station. Where is this? Down over down. Do 
But this is just standard repair stuff. So, uh, those the raid seal exchange, and this is the crafting window. So this is the fishing stuff. Um, yeah, fishing is another part of the management things, isn't it? So there's the market broker. There we go. The market and auction can be used after That's a relief. It. Hmm. I was a little worried about the dispatch because we didn't have enough sailors, but Lord Moronto was just in time to help. They've also brought various items required to run the stronghold, seeing as how the card is there. They've arrived. Thank you for coming all this way, Lord Cows. <laughs> So what is this I hear about the King's Knight being granted a stronghold? Exactly Cal's that. Cal's Moronto can't let this opportunity pass. <laughs> the sailors I brought from the port should be a big help. <laughs> Interesting. So, uh... Lord Cal seems kind, don't you think? But what if he has a hidden agenda? The person who just visited was Lord Cal's of Wavestand Port. He will be of great help to you. Uh, then, I shall explain about dispatches. They can be considered the stronghold's main source of income by dispatching sailors to complete missions. And dispatching will require you to first register ships and sailors to be affiliated with the stronghold. Make sure to sign the sailor's application forms in the inventory. It's a procedure required by the administration. Uh, please, take care of the... Uh, to remember the ships and sailors that have not been registered cannot be dispatched. Right, and we get ourselves some pamphlets to register things and use the pirate coins to purchase various items. Okay, so there's another... Uh, currency added here. The pirate coins, yes. But you can only have four of those up here, but in this case, it's only necessary to see this in here, otherwise it's not useful. Right, finish research how to build um, Bella Lucia. Uh, also, I need to register things. So, Austin, a legendary sword fighter of the Red Curtain Arena. His intimidating appearance uh, believes his shyness. He's boarded your ship to learn how to work as part of a team. Earthquake. Uh huh. And what about Zenith? Uh, Lu Pang's employee of the year. He's never seen without a cheerful smile on his face. Is it Lu Pang or small like a woman? Hardship. Something, something darkness. And then we got Cade again. The captain of Sherrod's army. Sure. Let's uh, get that one. And there's Stronghold Energy, which gets me another 1,000. And of course, it sits in my inventory. Um, hmm. I need to move this about a little. Righty. Uh, let's go back into the management thing. And station, I believe. Is that here? Normal mission? Crew? Yeah, you select them, and then there's normal crew with the eyes. Available crew 0 out of 2. So we get ourselves some uh, also feather. Wait a minute. Ah, you have to right click it. Mm hmm. No. Oh, I could also put a pad on it. So the adapt. What's adaptation? Uh. No available slots now. Okay. Whoa. Alright, so the higher the rarity, the better. In this case, it's additional bonus plus one. Sure, view crew. What does that do? The current mission maximum adaptation rate is 150%. The higher the adapt adaptation rate, the chance to get higher tier rewards increases. But um, the current... Oh, maximum adaptation rate is 150%. So we are halfway there. But it says that the chance to get higher tier stuff increases. But it does not say that there's a 
successful chance or something. Um, if you assign a hardship specialized crew or pet for a mission, your adaptation increases during the mission. That one is great hardship earthquake, great hardship darkness. Hardship just like that. So you, I think you need some synergy in here. Hardship specialized crew or pet for a mission, your adaptation increases. Hmm. Because it glows. Uh, very interesting. Now, let's uh, put them on the job. Normal missions are updated every day at 5. And how do I make them start the mission? Was it the special? No, it's... Damn it. Um, auto formation? Yes. And... There are no dispatch ships available to deploy. Oh, I need a ship list. Hmm... I don't have a ship. That makes a uh, ship available upon research. Ah, right. Finish the Buela de Lucia research, so... That makes... Yeah, that's the ship that we need. Mm hmm. Alright. Let's just wait until it's done. Interesting. So, now I can dispatch some sailors in here on that particular ship. So there's a durability loss of 5%. Mm, the mission is hazardous waters resi resistant. Uh, so the durability consumption decreases by 5%. Okay. I can like, click left and right to select another ship if I wanted to. The for kelp bats dispatch missions. Kelp patch. Uh huh. So depending on what kind of mission this is, it's kelp pads, and this is when the ship gets better. So this symbol needs to be this symbol, and uh, these two, I think, yeah, and these two mean that there's some synergy in here. So if you select for these symbols in here, then you're good. Uh, right, so let's start that thing. Dispatch cost is 7 pirate coins, and uh, held amount is 66. Current adaptation is so and so much. Let's see what happens. It's just 10 seconds, so it should be very easy. My expectation is that the whole thing will take a little longer uh, once you go into the actual mission. It's just a little introduction. So, we used up 7, we gained 6, so it's a gain of 9 pirate coins. Uh, you have earned a reward for completing the noble mission. Uh, Providence Stone. Elegant rose, colored stone, it symbolizes new relationship. Can be exchanged for report items. Ah! This is what these things are good for. And raid seals. Uh -huh. Stronghold HP, okay, that's something normal. Could be exchanged for something else through trade merchants. Right. And now, there we go. So the first mission was just as a little bit of a fix to get you started. And now it gets more difficult with like two hours and whatnot. Adventure seal. Right. Um, let's just focus on getting a decent amount of those raid seals before we mix them uh, with other seals. Right. Uh, this is an ice thing. Another ice thing. Another ice thing. There's a little bit of fire and tornadoes. I don't have tornadoes yet. Don't have the crew available. So let's just get uh, out of here real quick and talk to Adam. Let me explain the trade merchants now. Hmm. Right. Now. What is a trade merchant? It's kind of funny saying that there's a trade merchant. This is then like saying the same thing, like there's a trader and then there's merchants. What's the difference between a trader and a merchant? Aren't those like different words for the same thing? They change items for currency or items for items sometimes. Hmm. But a trader trades, whereas the merchant buys with currency. I think this might be a difference there. So yes, trade merchants visit different continents and form contracts with various lords. The higher your reputation becomes through adventures, the more merchants will wish to form a contract with you. You can exchange materials crafted in the workshop or items acquired from dispatches with famous merchants and gain various benefits. Trade merchants can visit the support when you sign a contract with a merchant guild and give them a trade permit. Would you like to pay them a visit? Yes. I mean, permits are nice, but what I want to do is uh, make them give me a little bit of their profit. Heh, <laughs> taxation. <laughs> this is what I need. Um, 
Okay, so then that's, that's a read stronghold level 2. Right, even more energy. That's not there yet. That's there. Lab level 2. Yeah, that one needs to be upgraded a bit. Uh, where do I go next? Finish researching the merchants. Right. So, let's open that again. Merchant trade gets done. Okay. Once I'm done with the tutorial, I'm gonna... Well, yeah, what about special missions? There might be an introduction to that. So, before I give them a specific two-hour mission and kind of waste my slot in here. What is this? Select a mission and dispatch your team. Oh. Available when dispatch station level 3 is researched and 5. So you can only have one normal and one special one. But we also need to remember that there's um, a squad that needs to be placed in here. So... And I don't have any special missions available yet. This is the wrong one. Um, let's claim that. And there's our first trader. Trade merchants carry special goods. Mm hmm To trade with them, you first have to enter into a contract with them. <laughs> it's signed it with blood. <laughs> uh. Trade merchants that are contracted with you will sometimes visit your stronghold. Sometimes. So, common trading. Sure. Um, buy from the trade merchant at the port. Radiant Zagoras crystals. Uh, visit merchant Ruggle. Done there. Okay. Wait a minute. How do I know? There's like B for the trade skills. Okay. You can. Okay. How do I get out of this window then? Oh, wait a minute. So this is view far. This is management. Like I. Oh, it's a threefold change. Look at that. So it's the. This is your normal layout. Then uh, you usually go into the um, gathering layout, and then uh, there's this one here. So press B every time you need a different hut layout for management and stuff. Definitely useful. So, this merchant stays here for 8 hours, so that means 3 merchants a day. And... What else? Adeline doesn't want to teach us anything. So, Targo. Wow! Nice place you got here. There Our are. stuff is nice too. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Crafting recipe NACT1 counter. Bound to roster and pick up. What does it do? Uh, use to craft this structure. Uh huh. Radiant Sagros Crystal. Let's just. What is this? Wait a minute. Crystal. Spines when a plant. Rare gem that can uh, only be found on top of Mount Sagros. Or the wind cuts like blades. Hmm. Okay, let's just get one. Oh, it, it, okay, it's just one of them. Let's just exchange the other one. Uh, and get this stuff. Open sale. Yeah, it's the same thing. Only stronghold guests can exchange. Oh! So, if you visit other people's lands, then... Uh, you may be able to get other trades available. That's cool. That kind of facilitates interaction, at least a little bit, or at least visiting of other people's lands. Interesting. And this is why the uh, interest factor is so important. Why are they glitching out? Okay, that's not necessary anymore. Uh, do I right-click this thing, drag and drop? Nope. Uh, use. Whatever that one does. Craft method, da da da. You can now craft. Hmm. Whatever that is. Well done. So, Let me escort you to the manor. Thank you. Now, there are a few things that you must be aware of regarding the manor, which I shall explain along the way. I have crafted a special device in the manor, referencing the ancient tome Nahum left in the past. Hmm. So, didn't I unlock another bit of crafting, this kind of strange thing. Oh, okay, so there's no everything crafting, it's just uh, 
structures. That's not... Or is this the one? No. Rare structure. A small fountain built in the Rathrama style. Research, action, energy consumption goes down by 1%. Hmm. Nice. Uh, I just need this carpentry box for that. What about this one? A small vine fence used for decoration. Placement point three. How many placement points do you have? Because I think there's a certain limit. What's this? 1,100 and whatnot stronghold experience. Uh-huh. But this is uh, twice as much. Yeah, twice as much resources used. Three times as much. And there's a giant... F <laughs> vine fence that you can place. Right. Okay, but this one is using up gold. And I don't want to use that yet. Okay. Now, on to the map. Wait a minute, what is this? Today's feast menu. Hmm. 170. Wasn't I at 200 somewhere before? And that is a skin modding. Ooh, okay. So, wait a minute. Could I maybe get... No. Nothing else in here. The workshop does its thing. And this is the mana thing. In mana management, you can select structure and outfit effects to apply to your stronghold. Go to the front of the mana. Wait a minute. There the we go. manor offers a variety of stronghold-wide beneficial effects. <laughs> Choose wisely. Hmm. But can I change it? You can manage your manor through the tome as well. Nice. <laughs> It's easy to use. Equip whichever effect you would like in the equipment slot, and the chosen effect will last until you remove it. It is important that you carefully research the effects of which are needed for our stronghold and equip them accordingly. Hmm, I suggest that we research them together. Yeah, uh, thank you. I will make sure to be of help to you, my lord. I have now told you almost everything that you must know, my lord. Now, lastly, would you like to try leveling up the lab? Yes. Increasing the level will allow you to conduct additional research. Of course, we'll be able to do more work, too. Hmm. Ah, that's this thing. Interesting. So, let's look at that. Uh, we can click on that. We have that thing. It says that we have um, effects, but they c may come later. A vacant lot with a lush tree, the flat land, offers many possibilities. Vacant lot, research, enhanced development at the... Uh... Okay, so... It takes a while until I can actually do things with it. So, let's go into management mode again and... Get the lab level 2. <laughs> Thank goodness I cut down some trees beforehand. Or, you're actually given a certain amount of resources so that you don't need to think about it that much. That could also be a thing. Don't know though, but uh, could be. Or maybe, maybe the um, the mana uh, or the, the 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 stronghold is connected to the first gathering quests that you find. So you're supposed to cut down so and so many trees, and as a result of that. You're given so and so much resources, and this is enough to facilitate the first few steps in the stronghold. That could be it. Alright. Uh, improved welfare. What about that one? Time taken, so and so much decrease. Uh -huh. Research action costs. Goes down. Banner building upgrade. Time taken, so and so much decrease. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Crafting workshop. No, I need the lamp, but that one could take a while. So, uh, how long does that take? Eight hours. So all of them take eight hours, basically. Uh, yep. Um, if I research this one. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I did get a few more of those silver coins. So... I can slot this in and get the benefits once I'm done with the whole recording session. <laughs> then I can get another one in. Uh, right. So let's talk to Alan. Oh, again. did I explain too fast for you? 
Oh, did you? I don't know. I understood, thanks to your explanation. I think you were a little too fast. I don't know. Let's just let her repeat. I see. I will try to explain it a little bit more slowly. Nonetheless, with this, we have finished our official schedule. Official schedule? Yes, of course. There's still one important unofficial event left. However, you are a busy person, my lord. There's nothing we can do... Uh, we can... There's nothing we can do... Should you perform the Song of Escape? There we go. Of course, I cannot leave that out. Ah, thank you. In fact, there's news that a distinguished guest from the Terra Castle will be visiting soon. The Stronghold residents will be preparing to greet Congratulations! Oh. So that, Lord. Hello. Everyone's in good spirits. What happened to his sword? I knew. You'd make a good leader. It does kind of sound like Armin in a way. Lutera has prepared a gift for you and your subjects. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's catch up after a drink. I'm counting a lot of people. And I don't really see that much to eat. <laughs> All right. So let's talk to Alan again. Congratulations from His Highness himself. Oh no! The future of this place is bright. Much has occurred today. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Now, I am the one who should be grateful. Such an active hero, worthy enough to go down in Lutera's history. I was curious to see what they were like in person. I saw you today, but. Watching you working hard to acquire yourself with the stronghold citizens, it's truly an honor to serve you, my lord. I, Ezalyn, will do my best to help you, even if it's only in a small way, my lord. I'm in your care as always. Yes, I'm also in your care too, my lord. My face is red. That's just because of the alcohol. Ah, is that? I, Ezalyn, will do my best. I think you said that before. Uh, for the future of Atoma. At Atamoa. Not at. Actually, I should have called it Atomar. Yeah, that would have been a much shorter Atomar and Atomar. Because sometimes you just miss the second day. The place you have raised so beautiful, my lord. Alright. Now then, we got some stronghold stuff, some flots and unlocked stronghold community, sure. Right. Uh, let's get ourselves some rewards real quick. That's that. Hmm. Do we get any bonuses yet? Not yet. Well then. The lab is on the go. The crafting isn't necessary yet. That's limited by the resources. Here we don't care. The vine fences are just in the way, so we get rid of that. I'm not going to place stuff on the island that's restrictive. Because it does not benefit me walking about. <laughs> So, let's see. Uh, I want more of those raid seals. And, um... I can... Uh, I don't have special missions yet. The available missions of the connected characters are displayed. No special mission available. If you complete a Chaos Dungeon, Boss Rush, Guardian Raid, or Platinum Field, a special mission will be added. So, let's put them on the go. Wait a minute. Why does this one... Both of them only have 1%, which is kind of weird. That's not helping. But it's 100 and... Uh... Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. So this is their share in the numbers that we get. Like uh, 100, 101 and 1%. So if you get rid of this, this one adds up to 101. Very neat. Very neat. So sometimes it would be best to just get rid of this one here, because still the same amount of adaptation. And then you can use them on um, other missions altogether. But all of this is just frost related. And uh, let's just make this work. Actually... No, it does not change anything about the dispatch cost. So it's not getting cheaper if you dispatch less people. <laughs> right, let's start this to our mission. Also, 
Yeah, that's this one here. I need a special mission thing. So then we got the we got the station, we got that. Uh the mana. The mana doesn't have an effect yet. Uh not yet. And this one is getting researched now, so we are okay. What else do we have? We have a placement. Yeah, what can be placed? Structure furniture. Some characters. Okay, so when it comes... Wait, there's a main island, there's a lab island, there's a small island. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> the small island. Let's not call it an island. So the stuff that you can place is always the same with this. Retrieve facilities, characters, place in the area. So it's a quick retrieve everything and all. Just to make things easier to maintain. What's that? Adorable Felix. Hello there, my lord. By any chance, could you please add a structure in front of here? Why? If I'm being honest here, you're a famous adventurer, right, my lord? I just wanted to look around and see all the fine stuff you have in the stronghold. How? You can do it in design mode, of course. You can use your mouse and click on an empty place and freely install it. Um, are you going to grant my request? Well, I could. But this time I don't need to create anything. I can just play stuff now, I think. No. That's weird. Wait a minute. I need to right-click it, don't I? So we got ourselves some barrels. Uh, some of those. And the food ingredient canopy. And uh, it's just decoration. Wait a minute. What does that one do? Don't expect comfort when riding it. Sure. Verno Carpenter Toolbox, Ponte Roster. Material used to craft s certain structures. Uh, yeah, I cannot right click the whole thing, it's just there in my inventory. Stays there for all eternity. Um, this is the storage keeper. Uh, let's just move things about. Uh, move to storage, yeah, right click. So this one goes, this one goes, this one goes. And this one goes too. Do I have anything else that I. Would not like personal storage too. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Um, let's have all the housing in number two. Gear and skin storage, personal storage, and this one. Hmm. Nice. And what else we got? Um, I mean the uh, the tools that I found are kind of. Uh, Unnecessary in a way. They're just uh, taking up precious space and don't seem to max out the ability yet. I'm just going to pick it up once I need it. Let's place this here. And yeah, this is island related. This is person related in a way. Then uh, there's also consumables mostly. They are also in the way, but hmm, what am I going to do with that? Let's keep the rest here. Hmm. There's just so much lots getting used up for just some random potions. First, a grenade that does damage. Hmm. It's a nice way to buy yourself boss kills. <laughs> now then, uh, wonderful adventure. Structure, crafting, da 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 da. Wait. Control and one. Wait a minute. Do I need to do this in the workshop? Yeah. Oh no. Alright, so I am going to craft something that's fairly easily done. Vernal with Tramis thing. Yeah. Let's just reduce our energy consumption like that. Let's craft this. Uh, how long does it take? One hour. Ooh. Oh, that could take a long time. Uh, an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour. All of this is an hour. So it doesn't really matter. So let's just go with the highest one and wait a minute. Nah, there's nothing else. So let's go with this one here. Because that's the only one with an effect. Why does it cost me gold though? Additional crafting. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. So there are different queues. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. So, select crafting workshop at the top screen and structure craft anything you want to add. Well, uh, the thing is, it's... Well, yeah, can we skip that though? At least the first craft. 
Not quite. What happens if you cancel that? Do you get the money back? That would be weird. Oh, what do we have here? Stronghold info with the traders and lab effects and other stuff. Right. But we are only interested in bonuses. We want to get it as functional as possible. What else do we have? Uh, there's the skin modding guy over there. Also, do we have... Yes, horses. Thank goodness. So, Kilikina die skin. Mm -hmm. Not yet available, it seems. Wait a minute. Heh, <laughs> no marker cards this time, though. Thank you. Uh, where does that one go? Stronghold exit. Wait. Uh, then there's the feast menu, teleporter, farm and cave manager. Right. And then this other part of the island. Well, it doesn't seem to have anything interesting yet, so we need to wait until that is coming up. Market broker. Yeah, the market brokers. Sure, I want to check on those. But maybe the introduction will come at another time. Can I cook at stronger level 10? I'm level 5 right now, okay? So, all of these people are going to switch? Structure exchange? No. The two arrows mean that you can exchange things there. It has nothing to do with the character moving. Yeah, crafting recipe. Oh, okay. So this is a recipe thing. The adventure seals. They unlock stuff. Uh, foraging tool and other things, right? Uh, special exchange might be... Yeah, it's the right thing. And right stuff gives you all of the other things. Okay. Just in a slightly worse exchange rate. Victories. Oh, no, you can actually select what you need. Okay. Vernal is that. Okay, so if you want to build things, go for the red. And cooking, crafting. Okay, it kind of just depends on what you want to exchange. This is just adventure stuff. Farm craft recipe. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So you need, basically need a mix of uh, tokens here. Right. Roster resource exchange. We can exchange what? Uh, strong. Mm. You basically exchange some good stuff for something... Mm, some not so good stuff, it seems. It always goes down. And gathering powder. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. This one is the other way around. From a powder to a particular object. Interesting. So you can go one way, but not, it's probably not a one-to-one -one conversion. So let's see. Um, 100 wildflower, 80 gathering powder. Let's see if we can find a wildflower up here. There's no such thing. Okay, so let's look for a uh, shy wildflower then. 50 to 80. Uh... And 100 for 50, so you're losing out if you move this around too much. Okay, so let's not do that. Or try to reduce the amount of moving things too much. Uh, righty. Wait a minute. Training camp, knowledge. What about the farming? Why is that not available? Like every house in here has a specific uh, menu that it uses. Maybe it's a trade skill thing, but who knows. Um, mail is just an ordinary mail, and the the market and auction house can be used after reaching combat level 30. Okay, and I am combat level 29 and a bit. Hmm. Interesting. But making it uh, this way actually makes it more difficult for bots to enter the game because... Yeah, you have to defeat some enemies first. Huh. 
all of this. Wait, what is the structure exchange thing? Uh -huh. So raid seals can be exchanged with those structure thingies, but they don't give you any effect, which is sad. Um, I want something with an effect. There we go. Bond to roster. Strongly recommend for wandering merchant. I mean, it's higher rarity, but it doesn't have any effects. And as long as it doesn't have any effects, then us exchanging stuff with it is kind of questionable. All right. Uh, how do I get down there, though? Stronghold farm exit. How do I get to the farm? I mean, you can go down here, up here. There's some little float icons. How do you get to that island? What's this? Uh, read. Board the ferry and explore all the most beautiful landmarks of the stronghold. The side road between the main island and remote island is the highlight of this tour. Main island, main island, north part, side road, main island. Hmm. Main island this, main island that. But, ah, this one goes between these areas, so I have to... Well, are they going in circles? See. Oh, there's a cave of life, even. So this one goes down here. No, this one just did a little turnaround, didn't it? It would be nice to know where those floats are going. Instead of giving me a SD, you know. Strangers of tours. Alright. Um, let's play this. And then we should actually end up... Wait a minute. Do we see the other float? No, you cannot travel from one to the next. In order to switch it. You're already in the... That's not the idea. Um, the idea is to... Teleport to the... Main point. Back again. What's this? Stronghold menu. Okay, this is how we can get out of here. Alright, that one goes on even further. Right. Hmm. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to quickly teleport to the core of... Or the center of the island. The half and home song. So if you get stuck on one of those, <laughs> you don't need to wait until you find yourself another entrance. You can just go there. So let's see. No, this one just does a little turnaround. See, it does not. No, oh. it does not reach that area. Just weird. See what else do we have? And some oh, that's not helping. Where does that one go? Um Remote Land Port, Waterfall Island, and some other stuff. Hmm. How do I get to that part here? Maybe there's another introduction. It tells me something about farming and how that works. Because right now... There's no menu for that. Maybe I need to build that first. Let's see what this is. That's strange. Alrighty. So, the missions are pretty much done right now. Collectibles are collected, universal things, and stronghold members. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. Let's visit Bredgar. Only nobles, registers of friends, and so on can enter. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. 
I just have a little look at someone else's place. Let's see. Like this stronghold does definitely look different. Uh, or it's just some general place here. Yeah? Uh, no merchant though. Nothing placed yet. So it's basically the same. Except that this one is level 6. Mine is only level 5. Interesting. Uh, definitely that. Wait a minute. Can you... Yeah, you can get rid of the heart and then you can place it somewhere else. Let's give him two awesomes. Why not? Actually, no. Wait a minute. Let's give him a thought. So... And this was the community. Yes, stronghold members. That's like interest one. Save strongholds. That one, that's two. You don't know the distribution. You just see the overall number, which is kind of like strange. You could have just placed interest over here and then a number to the right. I have it in this layout then. Hmm. Righty. Let's get out of here. Now, is our previous location actually stored somewhere? Meaning that once we come back, we end up at the same location we actually left? Could be. Ah, so Adeline is gone now? Good. And this workshop thing, well, it does take a little while. Da, 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 da. We don't need to look at that all the time. It's like a... How long was it? Two hours? No, two hours was the other mission. This is like... Eight? Was it half an hour? Nah, whatever. Let's just check at a later point. And as a reward for this place some stuff mission, we get stuff to place. It's so weird. Uh, so, so weird. Alright, so this was an introduction to the island thing. Very, very neat. So, wait a minute, what is this one here? Research, one in progress. There we go. That's nice. So that's ready in an hour, that's ready in two hours. The trade visit is in another few hours. What's the stronghold action energy? Six that. What? How much energy did we use up already? Just from researching one or two things, we went halfway through all of our energy. That's strange. Anyhow, uh, there's still a lot to explore in the Lieutenant Castle, but this is something for another episode. Until then, uh, like, like that, I believe. All right, like and subscribe, of course, and uh, ta-ta.